guys. I'm going to try to keep this short. But this is what I want to point out to us guys, especially beginners only. Look at what happened here to me. This is the pattern. This really, I entered right here. Listen, move, move this up a little bit. It looks like it's gonna go up. It looks like a dip buy, okay? It looks like I can't lose. And it might even go up. The issue is when you approach in trading, but look at this. As soon as I entered with this big position size, 50,000 shares at $3.48. I entered and it gone down and now I had a loss of 8,000 close to $9,000. And this only dropped 10 cents, by the way. Only dropped 10 cents. What I'm saying to you is it doesn't, and look here, this got volume too. Beginners, take it from me. This is why you pay for trade so you could make these mistakes and learn from it. When you approach in trading, I don't care how good the setup is. I don't care if it's perfect. I don't care if it have 95% things going your way that it's gonna go up in the direction you want. You need to consider what if it don't go in the direction you want? What if it goes in the opposite direction? That's how you approach trading. Don't be like, it, don't don't trade as if you play in the lottery. You always have the mindset, I gonna play, I gonna win, I gonna win, I gonna win, I gonna win. In trading, do not have that approach and that mindset. Your mindset should be, what if what if I lose? And what do I have in place to stop me from losing a lot of money if I enter? and it go in the opposite direction. That is how you're supposed to approach trading. Now with this big position size, is obviously that I did not consider, what if it go in the opposite direction? This is the reason why I explained to beginners, use one to 2% of your account. My account size when I, when I started was five was 5,000. 1% 5, of 5,000 is only $500 that I have to use max per trade. Meaning, let me tell you, if I obey that rule, I would have only bought 5,500 to buy 3.48. I would have only bought 143 quantity or position size. You see the difference? You need to do not say, I can win, I can win, I can win. This could go in the direction I want. This could go in the direction I want. Because it's going to cause you to have a position size more than 1%. And if it, and if it does go in the wrong direction, this you, you can lose all of this, okay? You must say, you need to consider, yeah, you can win, but if it does go in the opposite direction, I have a small position size using 1%. If it goes in the opposite direction, when I enter, I'm not gonna lose a lot of money. At the same time, you need I'm hoping it will go in the direction I want. That's how you approach trading, okay? And I showing you all this, you need to follow the rules because it can happen. And you see this? You don't want this because as a beginner, you ain't gonna be able to fix this. Not as a beginner. If this was Tim Sykes' account or, or Stephen Ducks, they could fix this because they got the knowledge and experience. But as a beginner, you have a minus 13,000 and it's, you're going to quit. You can't fix that. You don't have the knowledge to fix it.
Okay, so take that advice. Now, I need to show all this. Okay. This, this, um, that's the first thing. Now the next question is this, okay? We do know as a beginner, if you have a small position size of say 143, and it does go up in the direction you want, your profit is only gonna be small. See this? I will show you this too. I bought this Facebook, two quantities. It only gone up $12. That's the problem too. If you do use one or 2% of your account, your quantity or your position size is gonna be small. And if it does go, which, which is good because if you lose, you're gonna have a small loss. However, it affects your profit too. Because if it goes up in the direction you want, you're gonna have a small profit as well. Okay? Here's how to fix this. I did this chart for you guys because nobody has done it for me and I took the time to do it for y'all, beginners. Use no more than 2% of your account. You're supposed to use no more than 1%, but 2%, I can just leave that, 2%. This, if you obey this, you don't have to worry about your losses. They're gonna always be small and that's what you want, okay? You obeying this is for your losses. That will stop, that, that will keep this, you obeying this will keep your losses small, okay? You need to get that. You need your losses to stay small because I did another video showing how if your losses are not small, that's why you add a minus in your account. Your loss is too big, okay? However, let's look at this chart. Let me explain this so we can understand this. If you want to have a small, if you want to use one or two percent of your account per trade, and you want, the next problem is we want huge profit. If you if you want to use one or two percent of your account per trade, and have a huge profit. Your account size is the issue. Your account size is the issue why you why you have a small position size and your profit is too small, as I showed you. Let's look at this. This is why I discourage people, especially beginners, from using a thousand dollar accounts. Let's look at why. If you obey the rule, because this is for your for your losses to be to stay small, and you want to obey this, if you obey this, and you get two percent of a thousand dollars is only twenty dollars. Is that so? Let's calculate it times two divide 100 times two divide 100. Yeah, it's only $20. Meaning out of a thousand, whenever you do a trade, you only have, you could only use $20 max per trade. Meaning if the stock is $6.89, you could only buy three shares. That will equal twenty dollars. Six point eighty nine times three. That's simple math. Now, let's be real. Let's be real, and nobody could disagree with me. You're not gonna make huge profits on with. I don't care if you Tim Sykes and Stephen Ducks. You cannot make a huge profit with just three shares. Even if that stock go up twenty dollars, what? No, no. I mean, I just exaggerate. Even if it go up ten dollars, you cannot make. You cannot get rich like that. I'm sad to say. And nobody wants to. Nobody have enough wisdom 
to be able to put this chart together like this to explain it to beginners. I did. Because I still in the beginning stages, I still early in the stages. And these were things I was trying to get somebody to give to me and explain, but nobody have nobody just has the teaching ability to do it. You will learn why you don't want to have a thousand dollar account. Don't mind people talking about, oh, you can trade. Yeah, you can trade with a thousand dollar account. But look at the look at look at how it's limiting you. You want to obey this now. Don't go and have a thousand dollar account and take the whole 100% of your account and try to buy shares with with six something six point eighty nine dollars because you're not considering what if it what if you lose? You gonna lose this whole account? We don't be into that. We're not gonna do it that way, beginners. Use 2% of your account size. Look at this now. Let's say you buy three shares. And let's say it does go up in the direction you want. Only 10 cents. So at, it rolls up to $6.99. You're only going to make 30 cents profit. You can't get rich like that. So no, you need the, so how do we fix this? We're trying to get a high profit. This is what we're trying to do. We're trying to keep 2% of the account size, but have a huge profit. Now what I consider huge profit is something over $100. I consider that a huge profit. Anywhere between 100 or more between a hundred and a thousand dollars. That's huge profits to me. And remember this per day. Even a hundred dollars per day is good money because you can make three thousand a month, ten months, that's thirty thousand dollars. That's good money. So practically when you get practically yeah, but then somebody say, but let's look at this really. Somebody say, nobody have a hundred, half a million dollars. I will explain this in a little bit. Hold it. Just relax. Even a $5,000 account, you're not going to make that much profit by. If you obey in this 2% um, rule. And it's just 2%. If this was 1%, that's even worse. People don't tell you. You want to really make some good money, you need to have, you see the PDT rule? They say you need to have 30000 or more. As you can see, it's they basically saying to you, listen, serious traders would, to make serious profits, but you need at least 30000 plus, plus. Trading. Ain't for poor broke people, boy. You're not gonna get rich like that. When you when you have people say they taking their 401k and cashing it out and put it in and trading, you know why. You know why. Here's you need you need the amount of money. Why? Because at the end of the day, you you want to take two percent out of a huge account size, so you're. 2% size would be bigger so you could buy more shares. Higher shares means you can have a higher profit. I need y'all to get that, okay? Now, somebody says, how are we going to get half a million dollars or even $250,000? Here's some more things I need to explain to you guys, okay? This is just 10 cents it rolls up. Remember I teach y'all how to find high percent gainers and get stocks that rise up 50 cents or more? You have to calculate this on your own. Put 50 cents. And calculate the difference it would make, how much profit you will get if it rise up 50 cents or it rise up a dollar. 
All you got to do is take this times the shares you bought. So if it rolls up a dollar, take a dollar and multiply it by three. Take a dollar and multiply it by 14. Get 14. So practically, if this stock rises up a dollar and you multiply a dollar by, basically, you just really need $30,000. This here would be a hundred. I, I round this off to a hundred. This would be a hundred dollars if if they rose up a dollar. This would be a hundred dollars. This would be one forty. This would be two hundred and ninety. So you see, these range. These you could make some good dough with these. These amount of money right here, thirty thousand, fifty thousand, a hundred thousand. Anywhere in this range, you can make some good dough. That's why I told you to find stocks that rise up a dollar or 50 cents or more. It's going to it's going to make a difference in your profit too as long as well as the account size. See nobody explain this. See how clear this is? So basically, if this rise up to a dollar, that's $300 right there. Now check this out too. I'm going to add another thing. The price of the stock also will increase your profit. But I have to explain it to you all separately. Let me show you all how. What if you bought a stock at $2 or a stock, one stock was worth $2.50. The cheaper the stock is, the more shares you'll be able to buy. As you can see here, if 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 I had to buy a stock at 215 versus 889, 689, I would have been able to buy nine instead of three. 46 instead of 14. 93 instead of 29. You see how I'm able to buy more shares? You see this? You see this? Now what if it rose up a dollar? What if it rose up a dollar? That means with just what what account size with just two thousand dollars. So actually, I, you don't really have to have this amount of money. If you have two thousand, and you you focus on stocks that's maybe two dollars or less and you can get the stock to rise up 50 cents or more, you could make some good dough with just $20,000. Watch. This 400, you can buy 186 shares. Even, you know, like I say, 20,000 is good. Um, How much money would that be, though, if you take... Just a just a times it by a dollar. That'll be a hundred and eighty six dollars, ninety three dollars. Even with ten ten thousand dollars, you can make some you can make some good money too. Because if it rises up a dollar, you'll be making a hundred dollars. Okay. And if you buy stocks that's less than $2, as you can see, shares will increase and your profit will be more. So technically for me, let's put it all together in a summary. If you want to see, a, if you, if, first of all, if you obey the 1% or 2% rule or risk, only use 1% or 2% in your account. You obey in this. You're gonna need to focus on account size, the stock price, and how much it rises up. Those three things will affect your profit, where how high it go or not. What I'm saying is, if you obey this, you want to have 
at least 20, between two, twenty and $50,000 in the account size, which I explained to you why. You want to trade stocks that's kind of lower, as low as possible, so your shares could increase. And then you want to find high percent gainers, so they rise up 50 cents or more, which will also increase the profit a whole lot. I was clear as day. I wish somebody explained this to me as I was a beginner, but I did it for y'all. I'm out.